Hi, it's Jerry Marie from Amber Marie and Company. Spring has sprung and I'm in the mood to make some springtime treats. Come and join me while we make some treats that you could use for Easter or for spring. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow along with us through our crazy journey because you never know what we're gonna do. So come along with me and let's make some spring bird's nests. Here's the secret. This is going to be so cute that everybody's going to think that you spent hours in the kitchen, but you're not going to. I'm going to show you the ingredients and how fast we can get this done. So we're going to have to have Rice Krispies. We're going to have to have some little jet puffed marshmallows. We're going to have some coconut, some butter, some green food coloring, and lots of cute little eggs. And don't forget, we got to spray our pan so our nests come out nice and cute. So let's get started by first baking our green grass. You've got to have the proper tools when you're cooking. And so your measuring cups, your measuring spoons, your muffin tins, your Ziploc bag, your parchment paper. These are all very important tools to make this very difficult recipe. This is a really fun activity that you can do with your kids because it's easy, it's simple, and they're gonna love it. So if you've got little hands around the house, bring them around your kitchen table and let's make some springtime treats. We're gonna color some coconut, but if your kids don't like coconut, you can always use like green frosting in it or uh, just leave it plain. But I think coconut looks really springy. So we're gonna dye our coconut first. Our coconut's gonna be our grass and our nest. So I'm going to open up my coconut and I'm, gonna, oh, I'm going to um, measure out about a half a cup. You don't need a whole lot. I'm measuring a half a cup of coconut. Oh, I love the smell of that coconut. I'd like to make me a coconut cream pie right now. How about you? So we've got the coconut right there. We're gonna put it in our Ziploc bag. Spread it all around. Now to make our little grass green, we're gonna take a fourth of a teaspoon of water. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And we're using the water to kind of help distribute the green color through the coconut. And then two or three drops. Oops, that's a lot. Let's see how it looks. What do y'all think? I've got my Ziploc bag with a half a cup of coconut. I've got a little bit of coconut green, coconut water. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna zip it up tight, and then we're gonna just shake. Now, you can keep, make this as dark as you want or as light as you want. Look how easy that is. I don't want my grass too dark, but I want it all green. I don't want any white grass. I'm pouring it out there so it has a, has a chance to kind of dry a little bit so it's not too wet. So what do you think about the green color? Do you like that color? Comment if you think I should have gotten it darker or lighter or if you think it's just perfect. Give me a comment and let me know. So after looking at my green grass, I think I might need a little bit more. So I'm going to repeat that step and make another little mixture of grass and food coloring. Well, actually it's coconut and food coloring. It's not grass yet. I'm gonna magically turn it into grass. Hang on. There we go. Half a cup of coconut. Some kids love coconut and some kids don't. So if yours don't, or among the ones who don't love it, just put some icing. A little bit of, go get some of that already made icing. Color it green, use it. So I'm mixing this all up. I'm gonna pour it in here. Okay, how green is my grass gonna come out to be? Let me know if you think I need more or if you think I need less. Here we go, shake it up. Shake that grass, shake the grass. We're gonna make this batch of grass a little bit darker and see if we can mix up the two and maybe that'll, you know, the little variation might be fun. Tell me what you think. Are you gonna like the dark grass or the light grass? Or the mixture? So I put a little more food coloring. I'm going back in. 
Ooh, it's gonna be pretty. Oh, I love that color. Mm, 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 that's pretty. I wish we had smell a vision because this coconut smells so good. Okay, we're gonna pour out this grass. It's a little darker. Oh yeah, it's pretty. But because I had more water, it's gonna it might be take it might take a little longer to dry because I added more water. So we're gonna let it just sit here for a little bit. Spread it out. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this grass. Uh, I'm gonna take the pan I'm gonna use to make my uh, Rice Krispie concoction, and I'm gonna spray it real good because I don't want it to stick to this either. And I want it to be easy to wash. Do you use this as much as I do? I use it a lot, it's crazy. I'm gonna turn my heat on to, oh, I guess I better turn the fire on. Turn it kind of low, I don't want it real high. I've got a cute little pink knife, of course, for spraying. And I'm gonna cut three tablespoons one, two, three of butter. Not margarine, but butter makes it better. And I'm gonna melt that right down in here. There we go. I'm using the little mini marshmallows just because to me it's faster, easier to melt. So if you use mini marshmallows, you're going to use five and a half cups of marshmallows. Now this is my very secret ingredient right here that I absolutely love. This is a three cup measuring cup. I love that because it's so, you just measure, it's fast, you've got it done. So I need five and a half cups. So I have a three cup and guess what? I have a two cup and then guess what? Oh, that's the wrong one. I have a half a cup <laughs> right there. I love these because they just measure it out. It's easy and fast. So my butter is melting in here. Right here, it's melting away. I'm gonna get it melted. Then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start measuring my uh, marshmallows. Look how easy. That's three cups right there. We sell these at the store and they're just great. I just think it's the greatest little thing. Okay, then I'm gonna measure my two cup. So that makes five. And then I'm gonna measure my half cup. The recipe tells you to measure it out. What the heck, I think I'm just gonna use the whole bag. Actually, I'm gonna save those for another project. I've got an idea. Okay, here we go. We got our melt butter is melting. It's not finished yet. I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm adding my little marshmallows. There's three cups. And here's two, two more cups. What do y'all think about these measuring cups? Don't you just love them? Tell me if you think that's a great idea because I think it's a great idea. So I've got them in here. I like to do this on top of the stove instead of the microwave because I feel like I have more control. A lot of times to me, microwave, when you do microwave, it makes things a little too overcooked and a little hard. So I like to put it in my pan so I can keep an eye on how it's melting. That really smells good. It smells like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. I don't have it real high. I could turn it up just a little bit. I've got my Rice Krispies. We're going to use six cups of Rice Krispies. So there we come back to my favorite little pan and I only have to measure twice instead of six times. I know, it's a little thing, but little things sometimes make you happy. What's a little thing that makes you happy when you're cooking? Little hands helping you, pans that are easy to keep clean. What's, what's a little thing that you think, oh, I'm so glad I have that. I'm so glad I did that. That was a great tip, a great, a great little um, tip that somebody gave me about melting marshmallows or making something. So we're melting these down. They're not quite there yet, but we're getting ready. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my first three cups of Rice Krispies. So I'm stirring this quite a bit because I wanna be really careful that I don't overheat it and make it 
too hard. You know, sometimes you get uh, Rice Krispie treats that are just hard as a rock, and I don't want mine like that. I want them to be soft and gooey and good. So they're just about melted. So I'm gonna turn it off, take it off of the heat, and move it over here. And then I've just got a couple of more little marshmallows that need to melt. And by the time I get it over here and stirred, look, they're already melted. So now we're gonna add our Rice Krispies. So we've got, we're gonna put in six cups. We're adding six cups to three tablespoons of butter and five and a half cups of marshmallows. Well, here's our first cup, our first three cup. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna add three more cups. I, look how easy that is. So there's six cups right there, done and done. It's really great if you're ever doing like baking bread and you need a lot of flour. These little, these little measuring cups cut the work. So now if this is the time that you just start mixing. Oh, it smells good. And you just mix and mix until it's all coated. You want every one of those little rice crispy snap, crackle, and pops to have some marshmallow on them. You know, people think this is so hard, but it's so easy. I think I might sit, take some of these over to my neighbor's kids and give them to them for Easter. Oh, look at that. It's looking good. You know, one trick, if you're in a big hurry, after you fill your muffin tins with your nest and make your little nest, you can take that muffin tin and put it in the freezer to let it cool fast because you don't want to put chocolate eggs on warm marshmallows. So you need to cool it completely. I've got my Rice Krispies and my marshmallows mixed up. It looks good, doesn't it? Now we need to get our pan ready. We're gonna use a muffin pan because it's gonna make nice, even little nests and it's gonna make it so much easier than trying to form that nest by hand. So let's spray our muffin pan tins with some pan so that our little nests come out nice and even. Nice and easy to come out. Did you, have you ever made this recipe before? Did, I used to make this with Amber when she was little and she just loved it. Of course, because she loved anything sweet and anything Easter and anything with chocolate and candy. So we used to make this every year. What kind of treats do you make with your kids? Do you make Rice Krispie treats? Do you make them at Christmas, at Valentine's, at Easter? Let me know what you like to do with your Rice Krispie treats. Okay, here's a, a tip from Jerry. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop. I'm gonna spray it with some pan, a little bit, not a whole lot. I've got two sizes, a large and a small. And my small one, I'm gonna use to make my little nest hole. So, my, so I'm taking my little scoop, I'm filling up my muffin tin. Then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm gonna put it like this and make my little nest. Look how cute that is. Makes a perfect little nest. Look, there we go. If you have children that are helping you, you can, they can spray their hands with the pan or with butter. And they, you don't have to use this. They can just make a little round ball and put it in there, fill up their muffin tins. But I like this because each, every one of them are gonna be about the same size. So it's gonna help you with consistency and size. But I, if I was doing it with my kiddos, they just have their little hands in there is what they would do. What do you think? Is this a good tip? Tell me if you like this idea. <laughs> I think it's great because it's making them all about the same size. This one's a little bit bigger. This is gonna be Dad's. Our Rice Krispie nest are cooling over here. They won't take long. And then we've got our grass and we have two different colors. Remember, we had a light and a dark. 
But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take them and mix them together. So we have a variation in colors. Oh, that coconut smells so good. Look at how cute that is. So let's let it dry out a little bit more. My nests are cooling. So now I'm gonna get some of my decorations ready. I've got two different kinds of eggs. Who just wants one egg? These are a little bit smaller, but I love the matte finish on these eggs. Aren't they cute? These are Cadbury eggs. Then I'm gonna try this little cake craft. It's kind of a light green sprinkle, so I'm gonna pour some of that out and see if I can add that on top of my grass to kind of give it another dimension. I think it's cute. We'll see how that looks. You can add anything you want. You could pick jelly beans, anything you want to make your little nest look springy and happy and ready to be munched on. Just look at our little bird's nest. They're nice and cool. We're gonna take them out and see if they will come out easy or if they're gonna stick. What do you think? Are they gonna stick? Are they gonna come out easy? Let me know. Oh, look at that. Came out real nice and easy. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So we'll work with about six at a time, maybe. I think this recipe would probably make 18. If you, you know, if you wanted to make them a little thinner, you might get 24 out of them. So we've got our little nest here. So let's take and fill them up with some green grass. Look how pretty that looks. I love the colors. How about you? Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna take and fill up with our little grass. Okay, I've got my little nest filled with the green coconut. I think they're so cute. You could make pink coconut. You could, your grass could be any color. So let's start filling our little nest. We're gonna put a little blue one. I love the yellow in there. And how about a red one? There we go. How cute is that? Okay, let's keep filling. Got a green. So cute. A good way to add a little extra coconut is to take and roll your edge in the coconut like that so that you've got the grass spilling out over the edge. And then just add a little bit in the center. That's if you if you have coconut lovers in your house, that's a good thing. Ooh, happy springtime. At Amber Marie and Company, it's important for us that you gather your family around, you make new traditions, you have fun times, you enjoy yourself because that's what it's all about. Being a lifestyle store, we promote that. And that's what we wanna see in our friends and our family. Just having great times together and making fun little things and starting great traditions.